In today's age, we all are conscious about what we eat and how nutritious it is. Today, we are going to talk about some nutritional facts and myths. Hello to all the wonderful people out there. We all fall prey to the advertising gimmicks and get confused. We sometimes start believing some nutritional myths too. Let's check out some commonly believed nutritional facts. It is commonly believed that egg yolk should be discarded as it leads to weight gain. The culinary world can't be thankful enough to the versatility of eggs. They are a storehouse of nutrients and provide high quality protein. We all know the benefits of protein. In addition to that, eggs are also loaded with vitamin D which is necessary for strong bones and strong teeth now comes the important question whole egg or just egg white well let me tell you that egg yolks have their share of nutrients too let's see what treasure does it hide in itself egg yolks are the most concentrated source of choline a key component of acetylcholine one of the brain's key neurotransmitters during pregnancy and during breastfeeding an adequate supply of choline is particularly important since choline is essential for normal brain development egg yolks contain vitamins a vitamin d vitamin e and vitamin k along with omega 3 fats compared to the whites egg yolks are also rich in folate and vitamin b12 egg yolks contain the antioxidants lutein and zeaxanthin which helps protect eyes from age related macular degeneration which is the loss of vision during old age The yolks are also packed with tryptophan and tyrosine and amino acids that help prevent heart diseases. Therefore, don't shy away from having whole eggs. However, have it in moderation. People with high cholesterol or blood pressure may want to consult their doctors for the number of eggs they can have per day. Before moving on further may I request you to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you are liking the video Now it is believed that brown sugar is healthier than white sugar Let's check the facts First let's understand what is the difference between white sugar and brown sugar Do you know that both white and brown sugar originate from the same crops either the sugarcane or sugar beet plant and hence they are quite similar now know that most brown sugar is a mixture of white sugar and molasses which is a type of sugar derived syrup molasses is responsible for its darker color and slightly increases its nutritional value We can say that the brown sugar has slightly higher calcium, iron and potassium contents. However, the amounts of these minerals in brown sugar are insignificant. So, it's not a good source of any vitamins or minerals. Brown sugar also contains slightly fewer calories than white sugar, yet the difference is minimal. 1 teaspoon that is 4 grams of brown sugar provides 15 calories whereas the same amount of white sugar has 16.3 calories hence the main difference between the two is in their taste and color nutritionally they are almost similar and so are the calories in both hence don't go overboard with brown sugar thinking that it is healthier or have fewer calories 
in fact your intake of all types of sugar should be limited for optimal health i would also like to make a special mention of honey here some people think they have found a cheat code to sweeten their life with honey but my dear friends let me break it to you that it also has a high glycemic index just like white refined sugar one tablespoon honey provides nearly 65 calories as compared to 46 calories provided by the same amount of table sugar suji or semolina is a nutritious whole grain now let's first know the structure of a whole grain well it is composed of four major components husk which is the inedible portion outer tough bran which is fiber rich endosperm starch rich part basically providing complex carbohydrates and energy and germ which is the nutrient rich part a good source of proteins fat vitamin e b iron magnesium and chromium now what happens during milling the fiber rich bran layer is removed and germ also gets ripped off thereby abandoning the grain of fiber and nutrition leaving behind only the starch rich component the endosperm the broken endosperm is called suji semolina flour can be enriched meaning that food manufacturers re-add nutrients that were lost during the processing of the wheat grain semolina is high in protein and fiber both of which slow digestion and makes you full for long it's also high in b vitamins like thiamine and folate which have many important roles in your body including helping convert food into energy additionally semolina is a good source of iron and magnesium these minerals support red blood cell production heart health and blood sugar control so semolina is a great grain oats are even healthier whole grains packed with nutrients they are also a great source of beta glucans a type of soluble fiber that has been linked to various health benefits a lot of people avoid consuming ghee or clarified butter due to the exaggerated fear of cholesterol and saturated fat though it has been a part of middle east and indian cuisine since times immemorial desi ghee is 65% saturated and 35% monosaturated fatty acids monounsaturated fatty acids is a highly desirable form of dietary fat the kind of fat found in olive oil which helps in cholesterol reduction it is perhaps even more desirable than polyunsaturated fatty acid because it does not lower the good cholesterol the hdl comparatively desi ghee scores over oils like sunflower oil safflower oil corn oil and cotton seed oil ghee is a rich source of vitamins antioxidants and healthy fats while fat should be consumed in moderation Studies show that eating fatty foods such as ghee can help the body absorb some essential vitamins and minerals. Cooking healthy foods and vegetables with ghee may help you absorb more nutrients. Hence, don't shy away from eating ghee in moderation. All white rice starts out as brown rice. A milling process removes the rice, husk, bran, and germ. This process increases white rice's shelf life but removes much of its nutrition, including fiber, vitamins, and minerals. So let's see whether brown rice is healthier than white rice or not. The process increases white rice's shelf life, as we have just talked about. 
but removes much of its nutrition right there are more than 7000 varieties of rice and several colors shapes and sizes however white and brown rice are most popular brown rice has a slight advantage over white rice when it comes to nutrient content it has more fiber and antioxidants as well as more vitamins and minerals 100 grams of cooked rice provides 1.6 grams of fiber whereas 100 grams of white provide only 0.4 grams of fiber brown rice is high in magnesium and fiber both of which help control blood sugar levels do you know what is glycemic index the glycemic index measures how quickly a food increases your blood sugar brown rice has a glycemic index of about 50 and white rice has a glycemic index of about 89 meaning that white rice increases blood sugar levels much more faster than brown white rice that has been boiled cooled and reheated has a glycemic index of just 53 hence we can say that brown rice contains more nutrients that than white rice and it may also be more favorable for blood sugar levels heart disease risk and weight control so it is definitely true that brown rice is way more healthier bonus tip blueberries are rich in antioxidants also known as the king of antioxidants so have a lot of them thank you for watching the video hope you had something to take away from it So let us know in the comment section below what did you like the most about the video don't forget to like share and subscribe have a great day remember to be kind make healthier choices and keep learning bye bye for now